So I didn't think I was going to do any of these bedside talks tonight, but um, apparently I lied because now I'm feeling talkative. So, I want to talk about the impact of your words and how serious the, your words are and what a power you hold behind your words. I'm going to tell two stories. It may end up being two parts to this video because somehow I always seem to want to film when my phone is like on its last leg. But here's the first story. When I was in middle school, I was concerned with having friends and getting people to like me. I never really wanted to be a popular kid, but I wanted people to like me. Because in elementary school, I was that kid that everybody picked on. I was that kid. So when I got to element, when I got to middle school, I decided I wasn't going to be that kid anymore. I was going to find a way to not be a cool kid, but to fit in with everybody else, do what everybody else was doing, fly under the radar, and, and not be that person being teased. And you know, it worked. And I made a group of friends that were great, and I still love them very much to this day, and I hope they still know that if they ever see this. Well, one of those friends had issues struggling with depression. And one night she called me, saying that she felt like nobody understood her, and told me the only one that understood her was her pets, and that she was feeling misunderstood, and she just wanted me to be an ear to listen to her. Well, my other friends were on the outs with her. And even though I had no problems with her, I liked this girl. I wound up treating her awful, awfully. And I wish that I could apologize today in my adult life. But because I wanted to still be in with my other friends, I told this girl, fine. Why you bought, basically, I'm paraphrasing myself, but basically said, well, don't bother me with your problems. Go talk to the hamsters. And cut her off and hung up on her. Which was one of the worst things and really could have led to a much worse situation than it did lead to. So I did that and then I went to my music lesson and kind of had the thought out of my mind. When I came back, I found out that this girl was missing. That she'd run away and was actually on the news, well, on a radio station, that this girl was missing. And my 12-year-old self, I believe I was around the age of 12 or so, felt this enormous amount of guilt that she had tried to reach out to me. She had tried, and, and even I had pushed her away and didn't want to listen to her when she felt like nobody wanted to listen to her. And she turned to me and I chose my words to tell her basically to buzz off that I didn't want to care. And then she was missing. And I was so afraid because in that moment, I realized at that young age, the power of my words gonna see if I can um uh, if I can plug this in while I'm talking so hang on just a second <clears throat> sorry I know this makes those noises at you a lot in my videos and they're really annoying because when I play them back they sound very annoying but anyways I'm plugged in so I can finish my story so, um, I suddenly felt this tremendous guilt because I actually did like this girl as a friend and I had chosen 